Uh, make the mistake goes here. The internet's busiest music nerd. And it's time for a review of the new Laura Marling album. Short movie. Laura Marling is a UK-based contemporary folk music singer and songwriter. She's been at it since the aughts. This is her fifth full-length LP. And even though I'm really yet to love a Laura Marling album with her past work, I've always been sort of allured by her very gentle, slow guitar playing, her very husky, womanly voice, some decent lyricism as well. And with each album I've heard from her thus far, there's always been at least a couple flashes of genius, just really solid tracks. However, in the past I have had a hard time wrestling with other cuts on Laura's albums. Songs that might have the tendency to, I guess, wander a little bit and meander, and maybe feel a little obtuse or esoteric because of that. Usually I think Laura's music is pretty meditative, though not always memorable. But I have kind of stuck in there, and I did have kind of high hopes for this new album over here. And for the most part, I did get what I had hoped for, I did get what I sort of expected from Laura, a more pointed, direct, and concise album. If you want to hear this more concise shift in songwriting, you only have to listen to some of the lyrics on these tracks, like the song Don't Let Me Bring You Down. There's one moment on this track where Laura says directly, do I look like I'm fucking around? Um, no, Laura, you don't. Laura even goes as far as to incorporate some punchy drums and electric guitar on a few of these songs here, specifically the song False Hope, which is the loudest song on the entire record here, having kind of a garage rock, folk rock sort of feel to it. And while some very quiet singer-songwriters might kind of continue to stay quiet when they incorporate more electric instrumentation, Laura instead actually steps up her vocal game and brings some very nice vocal harmonies and some passionate singing. You might already be into some of Laura's contemporary like Courtney Barnett and First Aid Kit, Angel Olsen and Sharon Van Etten. And if you like any of those artists, or maybe even more classic singer-songwriters like Joni Mitchell or Patti Smith, maybe even a little Fiona Apple, I think you'll get something out of this record. Topically here with short movie, a lot of the time Laura is addressing love and kind of the darker, more unhappy side of that. On the song I Feel Your Love, uh, there are some really interesting lyrics on this track. Laura seems to be blinded by the love that she has with this person. And this is something that she, uh, despite the blindness, uh, requests and wants to take on. It's like she wants to be wrapped up in this love she's singing about to the point where she kind of loses control of herself, really loses control of her senses. And the mostly acoustic track Warrior, which kicks the album off and is one of the better tracks here, uh, it's very patient, it's very slow, has a lot of psychedelic vast, just reverby effects on the track, which really goes along with the theme of searching and finding on this song. And this track is also kind of about uh, falling in love with someone and kind of seeing that person as a hero, as a warrior, and then maybe down the line not really finding in him what you came to assume or what you thought you saw was there. And the song Strange is a very up-tempo acoustic track with hand drums and, and spoken word and talks about love, uh, not in kind of a lusty or, or, or an out of control kind of thing, but more of a, a thing of, of responsibility and, and honor. Laura sings about somebody who maybe sees the world a different way in old age, has opened up his eyes for whatever reason, and now has made all these life choices like getting married, having kids, choices that you can't necessarily, uh, you know, reverse. And kind of encourages this person to, I guess, kind of stick with their choices and just be a man. Which on the one hand is, is really a grown up thing to do, but on the other hand, I mean, that's how, you know, a lot of families get torn apart, people sort of sticking with their horrible decisions. Sometimes I get the feeling on this album that Laura is uh, dealing with some really tough situations, but maybe she doesn't go into them with the, uh, uh, I guess, the, the tact and the nuance and, and the detail that, that maybe one should. And on this track specifically, uh, maybe uh, I'm sort of assuming things because the second verse, uh, maybe we're hearing a story about a totally different person on this track, but it almost seems as if Laura is the second woman on this track, and uh, you know, she's sort of a, the mistress of this person who has this wife and has these kids, and she's telling that person to maybe go back there and, uh, you know, be a good family man. 
the tangled web we weave. Even some of the more toned down and subtle tracks on this LP are, are maybe a little more direct than some of Laura's past work as well, like the song Easy, which features some fantastic, very quiet strings in the background, just really lifting up the acoustic ballad, making it sound even more gorgeous. And the song How Can I, where lyrically Laura is talking a lot about uh, taking risks and, and putting yourself out there romantically, or just kind of put yourself in life where you feel like you need to be, even if that means hurting someone's feelings or stepping outside of your comfort zone. However, with this track, I feel like the risk that's being talked about here is uh, just being honest and, and being really frank, which is not to be misconstrued with being daring, which despite the efforts made on this album, I don't think this album is. And even though I do like a lot of this LP, I'm not completely head over heels for it. Some songs I'm just kind of on the fence with, for example, the song Don't Let Me Bring You Down, which has a so-so instrumental and a really prominent drum beat that sounds like uh, someone smacking a trash can, which really does not complement the song that well. And Laura's tendency toward talk singing on this record gets a little stale sometimes, specifically on Daughter. Uh, on this track, against intensifying instrumentation, Laura's performance is uh, really just kind of subdued. And as she tries to pick up the volume and uh, the passion toward the back end of the track, um, she actually strains her voice pretty audibly, which I think in the mix they might have tried to mask by bringing the guitars up a little louder, but it's still very, very clear. Some of Laura's older work I found to be just a little too quiet and indirect and standoffish, and as she has tried to be more straightforward with this album, uh, I don't think it's totally, you know, fixed every issue. I think uh, while it, it is an improvement in a way, uh, new problems have arised in a sense. And there are songs on here such as Howl, which to me are just as sleepy and uh, slow motion and impenetrable as some of Laura's older stuff. So that's not really a vibe or a sound or a direction she's overcome entirely with this album, nor do I think that was something she was trying to do intentionally throughout the entire LP anyway. Overall, this is a pretty decent singer-songwriter album. Like I said earlier, I'm not totally in love with it, but there are plenty of highlights here, uh, many of them on the first half of the album, and the title track on here is fantastic as well. Laura, I still find to be a pretty compelling singer. I think she has a very sweet, easygoing personality and vibe in her music, but she's definitely bolder than usual on here, though not always impressive. Uh, but even in the more lackluster moments on this album, it's at least pleasant to listen to. I'm feeling a strong six to a light seven on this thing. Transition. If you give this album a listen, what did you think of it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Why? What do you think I should review next? And that's it. Anthony Fantano, Laura Marling, short movie forever.